Despite another drought-stricken year and a very low aquifer, SAW's customers have yet to face stage three restrictions. That's because of a reserve, a bubble of stored underground water that keeps SAWS on stand let SAWS keeps on standby. Our Justin Horn explains it's a resource that has never been more valuable than it was in 2014. Here we ran almost the whole year because of the severe drought. We started January 2nd and we finally stopped this Monday. It was a busy year at SAWS Twin Oaks Aquifer Storage and Recovery Facility, better known as the ASR. We ran over 11 months sending water into town because they needed it. Millions of gallons a day, in fact, traveled through a 25 mile pipeline to San Antonio. Water the city needed to offset pumping restrictions. These pumps had been working overtime, pumping water out, but now it's switched. Water is being pumped from San Antonio here, and they expect that to continue through the first of the year. Think of it like a bank. We tapped into our reserves. Now that demand is down, we're adding money back in. The facility came online in 2004 and built a surplus through 2010. This year, the ASR proved to be a huge asset. We found out, quickly found out, that we can store much more water than we ever thought. A fascinating feat in engineering, the ASR is an underground man-made water bubble, suspended in sand with no threat of evaporation. It's very good at holding the water where you put it. And when it comes to how much goes in and out, it's a delicate balancing act. We're doing lots of math. Uh, every week we look at the drought conditions, how that's impacting the Edwards Aquifer. For now, it's back to storage mode until it's needed again. Justin Horn, KSAT 12 News. Storing water is also a requirement for SAWS through a joint agreement with the EAA called the Habitat Conservation Plan. By taking demand off the Edwards Aquifer, spring flow can continue protecting endangered species.